Morning everybody, this is Double Wide 6 and today I'm bringing you another repair video. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, running an electrical box on a wall. So basically uh, we're going to drop a wire down from our attic and we're going to fish it into a box and you might do something like this for wiring up a ceiling fan or if you just need another switch or another outlet in your room. So I'll take you through the process I'm currently uh, wiring up a uh, air compressor. It's actually um, 20 amp circuit, 240 volt. So if you're interested in how to wire up a video, uh, a circuit like that, I already have a video on how to wire that up um, from the breaker panel. So you can check that out under double wide six. All right, so we'll take a look at this next. So here's the corner where we need to put our outlet. There's already an outlet there, but that's not 240 volts, so we can't use that. We're gonna drop another one right next to it. I'm in my detached garage. Up here is an attic, so I can kind of sneak through the roof, and basically what I have to do is uh, drill a hole and uh, fish a wire down to our hole. First thing we're gonna do is mount the box. So I'm just going to be setting up a plastic outlet box. If you take a look, this box has these like tabs on here. There's one on each end. This box is made to attach to drywall. You don't have to attach it to a stud. So that makes it real easy. You don't have to find a stud. Um, I already know where the studs are. There's one right where this outlet is. And I don't want to put this box right above this outlet on the stud because uh, I know that there's a wire running down that stud and I'm just going to stay away from it. So it'll just be easy to use one of these boxes and I'm probably going to put it up here a little bit, about a foot up and I'm just going to center it in the stud bay like that. Alrighty, so uh, our first step here is going to be to get a nice level line for the bottom of the box. So I'm taking my speed level here and we're just going to mark the wall the nice dark line next step we're going to get a vertical line that's perpendicular to that so pick a spot and line it up on the level and get that perpendicular line and then from there we're going to trace the box all right, so we have those first two lines. So we're just gonna take the box and the lines might look a little crooked on the camera. It's because I have the camera on a little bit of an angle. So I'm just marking the different parts of the box like that. And then we're gonna take that level and we'll sketch around that perimeter. Alright, so we have our location of the box marked. Here's a look at it. Now the camera's not on an angle anymore. So now we're going to cut that out. Alright, so now we're going to take our knife and we're going to just line it up. And you just want to break through the drywall. I like to break through all the corners and I also like to try and cut right on the lines. That makes the hole wide enough that the box will fit in. So we'll just make a couple cuts. I use the hammer. It saves the palm of your hand. But some guys just use their palm. And two more of these. Alright, so now that's ready to cut. You can cut it by hand, but I'll save a little time and do it with my Sawzall.
And there you go, we're through. Once it's cut, you want to double check that the box fits in there, which this one does. So that's good. Um, you can see I made a couple nicks here. It's no big deal because I'm just working in my garage. Obviously, if you're working in your house, uh, you'd have to spackle those. So you might want to cut these out by hand and not use the Sawzall. Plus, it makes a lot less dust. Alright guys, right now I'm up in the attic and I've located where I need to drill a hole to push our wire down into the stud bay. So, I know it's hard to see because it's kind of dark up here, but I got my drill and I'm using a spade bit. And we're just trying to drill a hole. Well, it's a little bit hard to see, but if you look, there's a hole there. Um, when you drill the hole, there's a double plate, which means there's two two by fours, so it's three inches thick. So you need to, you know, do some drilling to get through there. And what I used was a spade bit on my cordless drill. So you're gonna need a bit. Um, I let, I'd like uh, to use a bit at least an inch in diameter, and uh, at, you're gonna need a bit that's at least three inches long to get through there. So this bit's about six inches long. There's a couple different tools that you can use for uh, snaking your wire down there. This is just a wire snake. It's only about an eighth of an inch thick. This one generally works really good for running wires like underground through a pipe. Okay, it's pretty thin and it kind of goes all over the place in a stud bay. So I'm going to actually be using something else. But this will work. Especially if you use one that's like a quarter inch or three eighths of an inch. They work pretty nice for this type of job. This tool here comes from Harbor Freight. It's item 65326 and it's basically 3 16th inch fiberglass wire running kit, 33 feet. Um, I'll show you how this works. This is what I'm going to use for the project. Uh, they're about three foot long so if you take a look that, that there they are in the tube and what you do is you pull them out and they screw together so you just take one out like this and first of all they're hard they're pretty rigid and they're also pretty flexible so you can take them and actually bend them like that and they won't break and they're stiff and if you look at the ends they're threaded so the ends of these if you take two sticks you can carefully thread them together and make one longer stick and if you have the kit you can go up to 33 feet these work great for cleaning out your dryer they work great for cleaning out a pellet stove chimney and they work great for running wires and they're good for doing those like cam lights in a ceiling you can run wire from light to light real easy up over rafters and things like that if you can get above them. Alrighty, so as you can see on the left, we have a, a yellow wire. And then there's some black electrical tape that I have taped onto these fiberglass rods. And I've put together about six feet of rod up here in the attic. And now I'm going to take this and I'm going to push it through the hole that we just drilled. So we're up in the attic and we're going to push the rod through the hole. All right, so we got the stud down in the or the wire down in the stud bay. So at this point, now we know somewhere in that stud bay is our fiberglass rod, okay? And there's insulation in there, which makes it a little bit tougher. So what I like to do is I'm going to start out by hand, trying to reach in there, and then I might take this hook, and I'm going to just try and grab the fiberglass. This is a good job to have two people because it's pretty 
difficult sometimes. So I'm just getting inside the stud bed and I'm feeling around for the uh, rod. And I feel it in here. I've located it. And I'm going to put this hook on it. So now my hook's on the rod. And what I'm going to do is uh, actually, this might work out here. I think if I'm careful, I can actually unthread the rod here. So, I'm going to try some needle nose pliers and just try and unthread the bottom piece of this. Okay, so with a little bit of work I was able to unscrew the bottom rod and I can just pull that one out and this rod here is the one that has the wire and hopefully it just pulls right through nicely and I'd say we got it. All right you guys now we're gonna show you how to set the box it's pretty easy so you're gonna cut the end of your wire you need about six inches coming out of the wall so right there is good and then uh, you want to run that through your box probably easier to strip your wire now before you run it through the box so I'll quick go and do that all right so the wires are prepared I've opened up one tab in the back of our box here and we're gonna take the wire we're gonna slip it through the open tab slot and these 12 gauge wires are always tricky to work with but with a little bit of pulling and maneuvering, you should be able to get them in the box. And you want to go until the insulation, the yellow part of the wire, gets into the box here. And once that insulation's in the box, we're going to need a pliers. I got to pull the wire. Now everything's the way it should be and we're just going to tighten up our tabs. So you just tighten these screws. One, two. And that's all it takes to put a box in the wall. And now we can hook up to our air compressor. Alrighty guys, this is double wide six. I did all the wiring here. And you can see uh, I went from a yellow 12 gauge wire to a gray 12 gauge wire. And it's tied into that outlet right there with the wire clamp. So there's a connection behind there. Um, and everything's done and uh, should be working. So we're gonna back out here. I've already hit the breaker and we're going to hit the switch and see what we got. So that's all hooked up and everything's running just as I would expect it. Looking good. Um, I'm double wide six. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in how to hook up a 240 volt 
breaker. I have a video on that as well, as well as many other repair videos. So thanks for watching and your comments are welcome. Have a good one.